Hello, my name is um, Professor Thomas Krepp and I'm going to introduce the, the course Game Theory um, and what it contains, just a five, three, five minutes video and um, so let me see uh, where we start. I just pair a couple of slides for myself here. But, uh, <clears throat> so, um, so Game Theory is a course that are that are studying uh, people's behavior. It can be you guys, it can be me, it can be firms, governments, etc. So it's a game where there are few, few players involved. And we try to study what is the best outcome, what is the best way of, of, of doing a certain, uh, taking a certain action, and taking a certain strategy to optimize your benefits. And that reads the so-called so-called um, a solution or an equilibrium as we call it in the in the game. So so just as an as an as, as an example, think about chess. You and me are playing chess, and each of us wants to win. We have a couple of these bricks to to play with, and we can move you up and down and so on and so on. Game theory is to study this game between you and me. And before we have even started the game, all the potential move in the, poten in the game that we are playing has already been calculated, figured out, and so on, before the game has even started. It sounds very, why even playing chess then? But this is a study of what is the best outcome for you and me uh, when we are playing a so-called game. You see it everywhere. In, in in when you go and uh, go in your everyday life, uh, classics uh, classic example are 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 for example playing poker. It's uh, buying things on eBay um, uh, on auction. For example, you have someone you're competing against, but you want the item. So how do you play the game to so actually ensure you are this outcome? Another example is job market. There are someone that wants the job. You also want the job. But how do you play? How do you how do you persuade the um, the firm that you're applying to that you should have the job? That's another game where you are competing with other one. Everything depends on what you're saying to the to the firm that you are um, that you are um, applying to. Could be so far to dating as well. You want a certain girl or or a boy? How do you how how do you uh, Prove this guy or this girl to secure that you are that you you get you get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. In the firms, you can think about competition. There's a firm that wants to sell your product, <laughs> sell a product to to customers. But how do you be sure that every, all the customer goes to your shop and not the competitive shop? So that's just examples that you see this everywhere. You see on the, the dating market, the job market, when you buy things in a store or an auction, when you play poker, if a firm is competing with other firms, how do you play this game best possible? You have a couple of tricks you can use. The other firm has a couple of tricks it can use. But how do you play the game best possible to be sure that you're winning? If you have the chance of winning, how do you win? This is what we study in game game theory. So, so um, it's a little bit like as Gene Chirol said in, in in industrial organization. It's a, it's it's a way of understanding the behavior of the market and its players to optimize their decision. So that is that is it's game theory as as it is told in, in, in the literature and so on. Let me just take you to a couple of examples that are real, the classic examples in game theory. So consider the first one that is called the prisoner's dilemma. You probably heard of that before. But take the story that there are two criminals or two, two, uh, two guys that has been out robbing a bank. The agreement is that if we are caught, by the police, we don't tell the police anything. It was not us. They now go and rob the bank. Unfortunately, they're captured. 
they're taken into the police station and placed in two separate rooms. These two guys, one and player two, or the criminal one and, play, and criminal two, they're now placed in two separate rooms. So what happens? The police are questioning each of the criminals in each of the rooms. Problem is that this is also called the trust game. Do you really trust the other person? So I have two strategies to play. So let me say I'm criminal one and you are criminal two. I have two options. I can confess to my crime or I can just keep shot and keep the agreement, the original agreement with, with you guys. That I sh we shouldn't say we feel caught, we don't say anything at all. The same, it's the same options is you have the same options. So the idea is that if both of us confess, we get nine years in prison. If we don't, if we both shut up and don't say anything, we get one year each. The police capture us because we have done a little bit of, of things in, um, we carry around with some things we shouldn't. If I, don't confess, but you actually confess us. I get 10 years in prison and you get out for free. You don't get any penalty at all. So back again, we are now caught by the police. We are in two separate rooms. All of us knows this, this outcome here. So the big question is, I cannot hear what you're telling the police. And you cannot, you cannot hear what I'm telling the police. So do we trust each other? So if we are, you think that we are sticking to our agreement, you can not confess, and then I can take the chance and confess, and I get out. You get 10 years in prison. So this is, this is a classic game in game theory, where we have some players, we have some strategies to play, and we have some outcomes called payoff. How do we solve a game like this? This is the behavioral part. We have to choose a strategy to play or an outcome to play or an, or an action to choose. And there is an outcome of it. So we now we, we are back to where we begin. When we started studying people's behavior or in this, this game, the player's behavior for what they will do to optimize their outcome. Another classic example is the battle of the sexes. A female and a male, they're discussing a Saturday morning what to do at night. We can choose to go and see a movie or we can go and see a boxing match. This could be the male, the female. So in this case, the male very much like to go and see a movie where the female we very much like to see a football and a, a boxing match. Don't care, they don't, they don't need to, to go further into the numbers. The interesting part is that they don't want to be apart. They, they, they don't want to see a movie, a, a movie together or boxing together. The remaining one doesn't just give them any, any, any payoffs at all. This is another classic example. How do we solve it? How can these two male and female take a decision? They very much would like to spend time with each other, but are we going to see a movie? Are we going to see a boxing match? We're studying people's behavior preferences and see what is the best outcome of the game. So, uh, so that is game theory as, as, as it is. Many examples you can see out there. Google uh, fighting with the uh, European Commission. There is another example of Boeing against Airbus to build a super jet. Boeing could be player one, uh, Airbus could be player two. And this is would have been profits. What is the best way? Should both of them build the airplane? Should one of them do it uh, uh, or, or, or the other one? It's dependent on what is the reaction of the, of the other firm. So, um, so that is a short, short introduction to, um, to, um, to, uh, to game theory. Um, so, um, so the setup of the, of the course is that I will, I will run different setups 
of a typical game. We will try to solve, we get a couple of solution concepts of how to solve it depending on the setup of the game. You will have a midterm exam, we will have a final exam. And based on last year, it's definitely not a, a bad idea to have a, a midterm exam because I could really see the students stood up to the, to the midterm exam. So they were perfectly ready for the final exam. So I actually went very well, a little bit surprised in outcome. But, um, so that's at least good. So it's a little bit like trying to understand the environment we're working, try to put, put it on a simple model, and we try to solve it. That is a short introduction to game theory. I am hoping to, to see you um, next year at least. Bye-bye.